All right, so before we look at any commands or learn any command line, we have to talk about sudo. Sudo is very important, and what had happened previously was that in the earlier versions of Kali Linux, we ran as a user called root. Root is the ultimate user. You could think of it as the administrator of the machine. Now we're running as a user called Kali, so we don't have root privileges directly. This is as an improved security feature because we should be running only certain commands when we need to as the root user. So what we're going to see is we're going to see how we can run commands as an elevated privilege. And we're going to do that with sudo, which stands for super user do. They just kind of shortened it. So we just have sudo now. OK, now with sudo, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, I want to run a command elevated. I want to run this as a higher user. In this instance, we can say I want to run the command as root. Why is that important? Well, let's take a look at an example. Let's say that I wanted to look at a very sensitive file. Now, one sensitive file in our system is the Etsy shadow file. You can see cat Etsy like this Etsy shadow. And you don't have to follow along right now. Um, you don't have to really understand what's going on if you've never seen Linux. All I'm doing is saying, hey, I want to print out this file. I want to look at it. OK, and for here, I can't see it. It says permission denied. You don't have the access to see this file. That's a good thing. Um, but if I was the root user or somebody that had elevated privileges, I could see it. So I could say sudo cat Etsy shadow like this. OK, and it's going to say, what is your password for Kali? I'm going to go ahead and say Kali, K-A-L-I, hit Enter. And now I can see that I have access to this file. And this file is very sensitive. We'll talk about this later on in the course, but sensitive file. OK, so when we're looking at it, I ran that command specifically as the root user. As the root user, I'm able to see, OK, this file now. Why or what's going on here? Well, we're running that specific command, right? And we're still staying as Kali. We're doing this in a kind of one off scenario. So there will be times where something that you run in this course might require sudo or you can run the command without sudo, but you notice something doesn't work. So best practice for this is saying, hey, let's go ahead and just run mostly everything that I'm showing you command wise in this course. That's not best practice overall. Usually you should run things just as a regular user. If you get permissions blocked, then run it as sudo as necessary. Now, the other thing to point out, and we'll talk about this again in, later on in the course, but why can we do this is because this user is part of what's called a sudo file, meaning we can have this permission. Not any user can come in here. Say we made a new user and we just called the user John. We can't just take John and just go ahead and just run these commands as root. No, John has to have the permission to do this. So you can think of Kali as being an administrator, but only when we utilize that access or that privilege. OK, the other thing I want to show you, though, is that we can switch over to root if we want to. We can come in here and we can say sudo switch user dash, just like that. And then I'll put us into root. Now you can see, OK, we're running root at Kali. And that's only for this instance. You can, if you want, I'm not going to demonstrate how to do this, but you can, if you want, change the root password, log out, and log back in as root and run through this course as root. Again, that's not best security practice, but that feature is available to you if you are a Linux user that is comfortable with Linux, comfortable with running as root, and you want the easy path. Otherwise, I highly recommend just staying as Kali, running as sudo privileges as you need it, and then moving forward. But this is a quick way to switch into root if you need to. Sometimes even running sudo causes some issues, so switching to root to run a command is OK. What we can do here, too, is the demonstration is we can go file new tab and look at a new instance. And you'll see that this instance of root is only good for this tab here. Once we start a new tab, we're going to be brought back right back to Kali Kali. You can see that from the top line in the tab as well. So just keep note of this when you're running commands in this course. If you see something again, try running it with sudo if it's not working or if it says access denied, then you know, hey, I need to run sudo. Very, very, very important. OK, I'm trying to drive that in into your brains right now. 
So from here, we're going to move on. We're going to start looking at how to navigate around the file system, uh, taking a look at everything from a bigger picture and diving into terminal. So I will see you over in the next video.